Today we will be discussing what Wall Street Bets isn't telling you about sundial growers. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Wall Street Bets, if you don't know, is a subreddit that has gained a lot of notoriety recently, especially since the whole GameStop situation in late January. I want to be clear that I respect Wall Street Bets a lot because they have gotten so many people into the stock market that weren't previously investing before. I myself am a member of the Wall Street Bets community, so I'm in no way trying to call anyone out, I'm just trying to point some things out that I've noticed. And I feel like I need to point out that most of the stocks that they talk about on Wall Street Bets have terrible fundamentals such as GameStop and AMC. But I do understand why they are trading these stocks with the whole short selling situation going on and all that. A lot of new investors blindly follow Wall Street bets and that's where it becomes a problem in my eyes because they don't know when to buy and sell and they can lose a lot of money doing this. Now the purpose of this video is to educate Sundial investors so that they know a lot more about the stock they are investing in and they know the pros and the cons of the stock and not just the pros and that it'll go to the moon. But before we talk about Sundial growers, I'd like to ask you guys to please comment your favorite stock of the moment, why it's your favorite stock of the moment, and please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. But without further ado, let's get into what Wall Street Bets won't tell you about Sundial Growers. One major thing that I've noticed is that Wall Street Bet users usually do not share their due diligence and their research on the stock that they are saying will go to the moon. They're just saying, oh, this stock's going to go to the moon and just get it. And even if they do share their research on the stock, it gets buried by people saying, insert stock here to the moon. So here we go, let's talk about ticker symbol SNDL or Sundial Growers. Sundial Growers is a Canadian cannabis company that engages in the production and distribution of flower pre-rolls and vapes. They have federally regulated license that are issued by Health Canada and are in good standing with Canada at this moment. They have a $2.35 billion market cap, which is a good size for a Canadian cannabis company. And the stock has seen recent success for a couple of reasons. One reason being that Wall Street Bets has been sending their volume to the moon or 500 million trades per day. If you have been watching any of my videos, you would know that 500 million trades in a day is absolutely insane. Um, but these can be buys or sells, so it doesn't mean that the stock will just go up. I would say this massive volume and the notoriety it has on Wall Street Bets is probably the biggest reason for its rise in stock price, but there are a few other contributing factors as well. Another reason being that they have increased their earnings per share exponentially since last year at this time. And an upcoming catalyst that you should be on the lookout for if you are a Sundial Growers investor is going to be their earnings call which will be happening on March 17th, 2021. The last reason being that the cannabis sector as a whole is running off of sympathy to the United States legalizing cannabis federally. I know that Sundial Growers is a Canadian cannabis company, but they can also run off of this news just as much as the United States companies uh, because they are in the cannabis sector and people just like to push their money into the cannabis sector on this news. Now those are the positive things, but there are a few negative things that you're never going to see on Wall Street Bets. One of those bad things being that the consensus estimate for revenue is projecting net sales of $2.7 million, which is down 41% from a year ago. This is not good whatsoever for the growth of the company, but it is not set in stone and they could possibly beat that in their upcoming earnings call. And there is also the fact that Sundial Growers has diluted the crap out of their shares. Since the end of September, the company has issued more than 1.1 billion shares, which has tripled their outstanding share count. This has diluted the crap out of existing investor shares and is crazy to think about. These are a few negatives that I'm sure most of you have never heard about and that you need to hear about if you want to be a good, educated investor in Sundial Growers. I'm not blaming Wall Street Bets for this at all, as I think it's every investor's duty to do their own due diligence and research before investing in a stock, uh, but they don't talk about it in Wall Street Bets either. As for my overall thoughts on Sundial Growers, I actually do like the company long term as they are in the cannabis sector which is going to be a really hot sector as soon as they are federally legalized in the United States. Um, but I do want to see a positive outcome in the earnings call coming up on March 17th before taking any position on the stock. And real quick, I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm just a guy talking about stocks on the internet. If you do want financial advice, go to a professional and get advice from them. 
But if you are interested in buying this stock and you have not made an account with Weeble yet, what are you doing? You gotta get in the pre-market and after hours with us. All you gotta do is make an account, deposit $100. You can get two free stocks worth up to $1,850. And now for comment of the day. Y'all comment and I'll pick one of your comments for comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is coming from Duke and he said, I bought in a few months ago and I just saw that it has tripled since then. Rocket ship emoji, rocket ship emoji, moon emoji, moon emoji. Thanks for the comment, Duke. He is referring to the video I made on AMTX yesterday. And make sure you do your due diligence and research before investing in the stock any further. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows we're doing something right. But my name is Zach and I'll see you in the next video.